Hello YouTube and welcome to a new video. First off, I would like to thank you for buying RSM FMX if you did. If you haven't yet, you can use coupon 2018 before the end of this year um, to get 50% off. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm basically going to show you how to switch from how to move from RSM to RSM FMX. It's going to be really easy and fast. So here's the RSM server. You can see it's really big and clunky. Um, you want to click yes and close it. Now, first off, what you want to do is you're going to go to server. You're going to go to default or whatever your identity was. Also, just a disclaimer, RSM FMX does not have multi-server support. However, you can run it from multiple folders, meaning server, server 1, server 2, basically, if you, if you understand what I mean. It's going to be a bit of a hassle on storage, but otherwise you should be fine. So we're going to take the oxide folder, cut it, and put it in server root. After that's done, you're gonna go to server, rename your server identity that you want to keep, and rename it to RSM. Secondly, you take RSM after you've downloaded it, and you also put that in the server root profiles. Then you can just go ahead and delete rsm.exe, but just for the simplicity of it, we're not gonna delete it yet. So you want to go and open RSM FMX. If, it, if you get this, just click run anyway. Okay. As you can see, I have an update available for RSM FMX after you've downloaded it. So just go ahead and click update. Let it update. Should go fast. And close. Now run it again. Okay, there we go. So this is how it currently looks like. Great job. So now you're gonna notice the values aren't what you set them previously. So you're gonna wanna go and you know manually because there's no backwards compatibility. So it, we had procedural map, server name, server host name. Basically you just go ahead and copy and paste all of this over. Um, and yeah, that's basically that. And remember to click save config as well. So yeah, just copy and paste this over. It's easy and fast. Um, yeah. So I don't really have a server, so you can just basically go and delete rsm.exe and keep the rsm fmx one. rsm-config can be deleted as well. Uh, let's see what else. What else? Basically, um, default dash start can be deleted, but you can keep it if you want. However, it's gonna not going to be used by RSM. Rust.ttf can be deleted. Let's see. Validate, install, because they RSM FMX generates different uh, generates different install scripts. So, we go ahead and click start. See if the server is updated. Also, Steam CMD replaces Steam CMD completely. It's embedded now. However, it still requires this. It'll it'll do it automatically for you. So that's done. Oxide version. Like we're at the latest. Um, so I'm not gonna reinstall it. Plugins. You can choose a plugin you like. Everyone loves Death Notes. I, I think I like it too. Death Notes. You can install that too. Player manager, this is for you know managing players. And yeah, that's basically how you switch over to RSM FMX, and it's that fast and easy. Uh, enjoy.